known as the Hell on Earth, the most frightening prison in the southeast area. During the operation time, Hoa Lo had appeared to be the prison stealing the freedom of many generations of soldiers, Vietnam revolutionary activists. With specific prison architecture with inhuman torture methods and cruel duress, especially the gilding which make this prison mark in the top list of the 10 most notorious prisons in the world. Established by the French colonial government in 1896, Hoa Lo prison was originally used to detain political prisoners and formed part of a northern network of unjust and cruel prisons, which included Cao Bang, Sơn La, Lai Châu, and Hai Phong. The French named it Maison Central, a traditional euphemism to denote prisons in France. At the beginning, there used to be a no village here. That village was an expert at producing pottery. It was called Hoa Lo Village. The French governor ordered to build an unbreakable prison. When it completed, Hoa Lo became one of the most solid architecture and the proud of French governor in Indochina. They used the tailor bricks with extra thickness. The surrounding wall was built by steel rock and stone that was 4 meter high and half meter thick. It topped with pieces of broken glass and bare wire without any clothes or not covered by anything. was connected to high voltage electricity. All locks, doors and windows were imported from France. In addition, all jails that were infamous for their cruelty were carefully collected from other prisons. The prison is really a health on earth where the prison guard threatened the new arrival. It is easy to die but hard to live and we will show you just how hard it is to live. Vietnamese patriotic politicians were kept here in the most dreadful conditions. Food was watery soup and bread, not enough clean water to drink, while the prisoners were variously isolated, starved, tortured and beaten day by day. The image that thousands of people share in the capacity of only 600 in subhuman conditions had quickly become a symbol of colonialist exploitation and of the bitterness of the Vietnamese towards the French. There were about 25 to 30 of prisoners in one room. They were fed up rotten rice, stunted vegetables, rotten dry fish, and rarely with tough buffalo or raw sound meat. They just had 15 minutes every day for walk and bath. All of them had to stand naked around a well built in the center of the yard and pour water very quickly onto their body, while the guards and jailers watched them. Especially, women also were tortured and suffered the same living condition as male. Hoa Lo prison is called health on the earth, not only by its living condition, but also by its hundred kinds of torture, such as hanging prisoners up or down for beating, electric socked at their head or heart, beating prisoners with boxing, stop prisoner body with clothes short with gas and burn, putting prisoners into an empty tank and beat from the outside, which make their hearing and nerve seriously damaged. The prison was first built to provide capacity for 160, then expanded to hold 600 inmates. However, prisoners kept here were never at that modest number. According to some records, in 1916, the number of inmates was up to 730, rose to 895 in 1922, and 1430 in 1933, even over 2000 prisoners in 1954. By the time the Americans sent combat forces into Vietnam in 1965, the Hoa Lo prison had been reclaimed by the locals. They were finally free to put the enemies behind its bars, and American soldiers became their prime targets. Ironically, the Americans called its prison Hanoi Hilton, 
during the Second Indochina War. Over nearly a decade, as the U.S. fought the North Vietnamese on land, air, and sea, more than 700 American prisoners of war were held captive by enemy forces. For those locked inside the Hanoi Hilton, this meant years of daily torture and abuse. In addition to extended solitary confinement, prisoners were regularly strapped down with iron stocks left over from the French colonial era. Made for smaller wrists and ankles, these locks were so tight that they cut into the men's skin, turning their hands black. Elsewhere, an astral guillotine stands poised to the ready position, reminding viewers that yes, there was a time when the expression off with their heads bore real meaning. The guillotine constructed by two wooden pillars, four meters high and the blade kept above by latches, below were another crossbar and narrow cell for prisons to put their heads in. Two pieces of blank were cutting the shape of half of the moon, they match with each other and create a circle with block to bow and below prisoner's neck so that the blade fell down into the middle. Inside the pillars are two claps so that the blade falls in the vertical line. The number of Vietnamese evolutionists beheaded by this guillotine is incalculable, most of whom were very young, even 19 years old. This inhuman weapon often operated in the prison and moved from one place to another through the north. At the end of the war, these soldiers were finally freed from their own personal health, many of them, including the late U.S. Senator John McCain, going on to become prominent politicians and public figures. But others were not so lucky, as many as 114 American pilots died in captivity during the Vietnam War, many within the unforgiving wars of the Hanoi Hotel. Visitors now come to Hoa La Prison can just see part of the prison, which remains after their demolition in the mid-1990s. It is converted into a lively museum, where one would witness the horrors of life in the prison during the French colonial period, through images and models illustrated numerous brutal lots of torture the French did to Vietnamese political prisoners. Hoa La Prison is regarded as one of the most popular historical spots to many visitors to Vietnam. It would be an unforgettable memory to visit the prison and experience the history with their own eyes. Don't miss this place while being in the capital city of Vietnam. Contact us now and start planning a great vacation to Vietnam. <laughs>